So on these two carburetors they're stacked like that. And that's what it would look like on this side. And if you notice, this is, this is the carburetor bowl where the gas goes into. And the side bolt right there, that 10 millimeter, um, that's your drain plug. You have it there and then you have another one at the bottom here. And then on the opposite side, that's what that looked like. And you have another drain plug here and another one right there.
here, one here. There's two of them. Don't over tighten it or you break anything. No, the other two. This is an actual jet because it has a hole in the center. That one goes in the outside, right there. There are four of these with the holes in the center. There's another one right here. You just gotta remember where it goes. This bigger one goes in the bowl. It goes in the bowl, through that hole right there. Someone in the foot right here is this cap. This is an actual vent right here. It has a little hole right here when you put this on so the air can go in. This one uses a washer. Inside of that hole. These two adjustment screws, when you take them out, before you take them out, you should screw them in all the way and count how many times, how many turns you screw it in. And when you put it back, when you reinstall it, you put it back at that same setting, kind of like this. I've done three turns and it bottom out, so that's how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna install that in there. Do my little screwdriver. And I'm gonna turn this all the way in until it bottom out there now I'm gonna back it out one two three that's right that's where it was do the same thing on the other side screw it all the way in this is bent for some reason do that. Now we're going to install two jets. See they have little tiny holes, make sure they're nice and clean. That goes through that hole right there, install down in the bottom there. Uh, I think I'll have to do it from in here, kind of like that. Line it up. Look at that. Screw down in the hole with a screwdriver and turn it in and tighten it up. I'm going to tighten it up with this so this one is not slipping. Let's tighten it up a little bit. That's good enough. And do the other side. Set it down in there, slide it down to the bottom. Take the screwdriver through the hole and then and then turn it in. Turn it in. And tighten that up.
Okay. That's good. Make sure there's not some shavings in there. Okay. Now you're going to put the two little short 12 millimeter with the seal washer. Just get a seal washer there. So that way you don't have no gas leak coming out of here. Snug it up. Right there. Right here. Okay. This is more like a drain plug. Install this on the carburetor. You have to line up this hole with that right there, and don't forget to put a new gasket. Gasket in here next, like that. Then you're going to put the float in there, line it up, make sure the check valve go into that hole right there. Okay, this is your little check valve, goes on there, like that. Now we're going to make sure the check valve goes into that little hole right there. Then you have two little pins, just like that. Wiggle it, play with it a little bit, and get them in that hole. That one is in, this one needs to go in. Right there. There you go. Now we're going to put that. The bottom of the car will back on the hole. We put the hole in back on. Alright. Just like that. Install the four screws. screws nice and even all the way around one opposite and you go to the outside screw to the next outside screw and then I'm going to use this boy here Tighten it up again. Keep repeating this step a few times. That way, get all the screw nice and tight and even. And that's it. That's how you clean one of these carburetors and roll it. You get a rebuild kit and you can change out some parts in there, put new parts in there. Um, all I have to change here is a gasket. Everything else looks good, so I reused everything. This carburetor is in good condition. No need to change parts on it. You just need to clean up and refresh. There you go.